If you're receiving this video today, we have some work to do. It's no shade, okay? That's why I'm making this video for y'all to know and grow. It's no shade, but please stop asking strangers on the internet for candy. We cannot help you. Okay, look, look. Now look here. Hey y'all, it's Chrysantilis, and today we're gonna be doing a little bit of The More You Know. The following video is made for the purpose of education and harm reduction. We are not promoting the use, procurement, or possession of any plant medicine or substance. We encourage everyone to do further research and prioritize safety. Look, 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 look. <sighs> look, you may have been sent this video by someone you know. You may have been sent this video by somebody that you don't know. You may have been sent this video by me, yours truly. You probably asked this question by no fault of your own. You may not know how illegal magic mushrooms are. And you may not know that this is the number one question you don't wanna ask people online, especially people that you are not close friends with. Please just hear me out, hear me out. And I'm gonna tell you why this is. It's no shade, okay? That's why I'm making this video for y'all to know and grow. It's no shade, but how do I get magic mushrooms is the number one question that I get asked that I can't answer and it sucks because legally where it stands right now in the United States, with the exception of Oregon. But if you're in Oregon, it's a slightly different situation for you. Asking someone online, where can I get magic mushrooms, is the legal equivalent of asking someone, where can I get heroin or bath salts? Now, if you were looking for heroin or bath salts, it's no shame. I think I'm totally against uh, drug classifications, all that kind of stuff. I think we should be able to legally be in relationship to all drugs. Let's say you were looking for heroin or bath salts online. Would you post in someone's YouTube comment section, where could I get heroin or bath salts? You probably would go about it a bit more discreetly. The law sees no difference between doing that and asking for magic mushrooms. And that's because heroin, bath salts, and psychedelics like magic mushrooms, mescaline, LSD, they are all scheduled one so that makes them extremely illegal that makes them the most illegal types of drugs which sucks and i get that and i know but here's the other piece of it you could be anyone we on this end don't know that you are just cozy in your home in new jersey and just looking in a genuine and honest way for where you could get medicine you could be a fed you could be literally anybody behind that computer we don't know who you are and there's no way to know who you are and if you ask me this question, I'm only going to give you one answer, which is redirection. I'm going to redirect you via links that I will actually drop in the description of this video to magic mushroom trials that are legal in your state, near where you live. It's the most boring answer I could give. I would love to say, hey, hit up my girl Vanessa. She got you, she got your back. But right now I can't do that. I can't give you any plugs, I can't redirect, and I can't say I have any plugs to give you. And that's what you're gonna get from other people who are on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram. And most of y'all don't know how illegal it is. It's honestly, it can be irksome to get this question time after time after time and not see the legal classification change, which it should. And that's not on y'all, but I think it is on folks to be mindful of how illegal what they're asking for is. And so if you didn't know magic mushrooms were super illegal, this is the video to tell you that yes, they are right now very super illegal. You should not ask people how to get them. The other thing is a lot of spam bots are in my comment section telling y'all where to get magic mushrooms. Do not click on those. I delete every single one I find because I don't know where that leads. Um, and I'm guessing if someone's openly offering you mushrooms on YouTube, Instagram, etc. Something just don't smell right. Something don't, it's a sting. It could, it could easily be a sting and you do not want to fall for a sting. You don't want to get set up. I don't want y'all to get set up, which is why I will redirect you to the legal trials. The only other advice that I could give is to ask around and not strangers you know on the internet. Please stop asking strangers on the internet for candy. We cannot help you. There is absolutely no safe way to distinguish who is asking what from who, who might be looking to arrest me. So unfortunately, if you're receiving this video today, I cannot help you. With the exception of the trials that I'm listing, if you're receiving this video today, 
we have some work to do, okay? A lot of folks, they don't know about drug scheduling. A lot of folks uh, don't even think about drug scheduling. Like, that's not what comes to your mind, but it is really super dangerous for people like me who make magic mushroom videos to redirect people to a place they can actually get magic mushrooms. Last time I checked, there were like mandatory minimums of years. Um, I will edit in how many years a mandatory minimum is right now for magic mushroom selling, possession, etc. But it's not pretty. Like, if I successfully hooked the wrong person up with magic mushrooms, I could get put in prison for three years. And I know that's not where y'all want me. So um, yeah, please stop asking people this question now that you know better. I assume everybody is asking with good intention. Maybe people just don't know. But at the end of the day, there's no way that I can tell that you are who you say you are. And neither can any of these other magic mushroom strangers on the internet. All I can do right now if I want magic mushrooms is ask around and that's all you can do. I don't know. I wish there was more I could say to help you out. Um, if anybody has additional legal resources that they can drop, please drop them in the comment section. Let's make that a resource hub for people who are looking to get their hands on the medicine. The more you know. Please check out this playlist for more psychedelic videos where I tell y'all what you can do instead of what you should stop doing, <laughs> which isn't fun to tell y'all, but I got this question enough. If you've made it to the end of this video and you're not bitter against the fact that I asked you to please stop doing something, please consider subscribing to this channel. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I am Chrysanthelis. You can check out my merch on Threadless. I hope y'all got something out of this video. Or if you already knew this, please send this to the next person who asks you this question who doesn't know you in real life because I know it can get taxing. Please feel free to use this video as a copy and paste resource to send to people who are in your inbox asking where they can find psychedelics because it's a daily thing for me at this point. I just I wanna set all of us up for success and that's including me. And so I don't know who you are, uh, people who you're DMing, it's a good chance they don't know who you are. Let's all just be safe. Let's put safety and healing first. And yeah, thanks for joining today. Don't forget to keep it trippy.